So I will come here from that short break and we are continuing with our matrices. Remember the subunit is solving simultaneous equations by matrix method. And the method which we are discussing now is the inverse method or the adjoint method. And uh, maybe to give you example two, example two, sort of the following pairs of simultaneous equations, sort of the following pairs of simultaneous equations, simultaneous equations by matrix method. Part A is 2x plus 3y is equal to 7 with x plus 2y equal to 3. Part B we shall solve 5a minus 4 of b is equal to 4 with 4a minus 7b equal to negative 2 and c shall be 3x minus 4y equal to 7 and 4x plus 6y equal to 15. And as I've always done, I will answer part A and you will answer the rest. So by inverse method, we first express these matrices in the, these equations in the form AX is equal to B. So where A is a matrix consisting the coefficients of the variables. The coefficients are 2, 3, 1, 2 times x. This is a matrix consisting the variables in their order. We have first it is x and then y follows. Is equivalent to b and b consists the resultants. The resultants A, 7, and 3. The next step is to formulate an adjoint of the coefficient matrix. And the adjoint of this matrix, remember I told you that to formulate the adjoint, we interchange elements in the major diagonal. We have a 2 and this is a 2, so this is just the, the same number, but if it was C2, 3, 1, 1, you would have a 1 here and then a 2 there. So now that this is 2, it is similar, so if I interchange, you may not easily notice that I have interchanged, but that's what I have done. Then, for the elements in the minor diagonal, we change their signs. This is positive 3, so it shall become negative 3. And this is 1, we write negative 1. And this is the adjoint. It is this adjoint that we multiply both sides of this equation. So when we multiply this, we have this times that 2, 3, 1, 2, x, y is equivalent. As I told you, this comes first. Because the law of multiplication must be maintained and it should hold in whatever you do. The moment you interchange, this one comes before this, you earn a zero. So once you write this, you will earn your first mark. And then from there, we have now the three matrices to multiply. But these matrices, they do fo follow the associative property. We can first multiply these first two matrices and then later 
the product, we shall multiply it with x, y. So by matrix multiplication, rho by quorum, we have 2 times 2 plus negative 3 times 1. The row with this quorum will give us another quorum, which we shall have 2 times 3 plus negative 3 times 2. The next row, this row must multiply in each of the columns of the second matrix and we shall have negative 1 times 2 plus 2 times 1. Still this very row, this column, have negative 1 times 3 plus 2 times 2 of x, y is equivalent to, we also call out matrix multiplication this side, a row by column, 2 times 7, plus 3 with its corresponding element, which is 3, this with that gives us another row, plus 2 times 3. Yes. And then we simplify this, for 2 times 2 is a 4, 3 times 1 is a negative, gives us negative 3. 1 times, negative 1 times 2 is negative 2, plus 2. 2 times 3 is 6, plus negative 3 times 2, that is negative 6. Negative 3 plus 4 of x, y. Of x, y is equal to 2 times 7, that is 14, plus negative 3 times 3, that is negative 9, and negative 1 times 7 is negative 7, plus 2 times 3, that is a 6, that is 6. And then, I uh, don't want to rub of this. And then, from simplifying this, from here, from here, 4 minus 3 is 1, 6 minus 6 is 0, negative 2 plus 2 is 0, and then negative 3 plus 4 is 1 of x, y is equivalent to 14 minus 9 is 5 and negative 7 plus 6 is negative 1. So when we call out the matrix multiplication here, this is an identity matrix times a matrix, you get that very matrix, so we shall obtain x, y. This is only true if it is an identity matrix. That is, if the elements in the major diagonal are ones and then the other elements are zeros. That's when you obtain that very matrix. And this is equal to 5, negative 1, which means that uh, upon equating these two matrices, x is 5 and y corresponds to that and y is negative 1, as the solution to our so now I will ask you to answer these two questions. You will answer, you will solve the following pairs of simultaneous equations, this part B and part C. You can employ the two methods. But in an examination, when asked to solve these pairs of simultaneous equations by matrix method, you are free to employ the inverse method or the determinant method. I thank you for watching this episode. See you next time. Please stay safe.